Hello and welcome. This month, we're looking at innovation. What's new and innovative in solar in 2021? But before we go there, let's take a very quick look at the greatest innovation of them all, in my humble opinion. I started in the solar industry in 2007. Back then, a grand total of 1,115 teeny tiny solar power systems were in operation across Australia. Early adopters were paying about $10,000 for a one kilowatt array on their roof, and systems would take 30 years to pay back their cost. Fast forward just 14 years, and there are almost 3 million solar systems in use, with an average size approaching 10 kilowatts. Today, in 2021, if you pay $10,000, you can get a top quality 10 kilowatt system. The cost of quality installed solar has dropped by 10 times in 14 years, and we've gone from 0.01% to almost 30% of Aussie homes having solar panels. Australia has the cheapest residential solar in the world and the highest uptake. How did we get here? With the rarest of rare things, an innovative government scheme that actually worked. Believe it or not, it all started with this rabid greenie. Australia will more than play its part to address climate change. In May 2007, six years after he created the renewable energy target, Liberal Prime Minister John Howard announced an $8,000 rebate for anyone installing solar panels. At a stroke, climate change denying John Howard had reduced the simple payback for solar from at least 30 years to a much more attractive five-ish years. That's the innovation that kicked off the solar boom in Australia. It was improved over the next five years by subsequent Labour and Liberal governments until it settled on the SRES scheme, which offers a point of sale discount that reduces gracefully over the next 10 years until it zeroes out in 2031. This rebate, paid for by polluting energy retailers, has launched thousands of solar install companies, mostly good, but a few bad ones too and over 14 years, they've honed their installation chops to become incredibly efficient at what they do. It's a big reason that we get for $5,000 Aussie dollars what costs Americans $20,000 to put on their roofs. Now, I'm no fan of government, but credit where credit is due. The scheme that became known as simply the solar rebate has got to be one of the most innovative and successful solar subsidies anywhere in the world. Thanks, John Howard. Now, how about believing in global warming, eh? 